Today on Two Day Pass, we've had a request from Apple Call. What we're gonna do is real life parking. Now on your driving test, follow me over here. On your driving test, you have up to two car lengths to park. So you'll be able to go back as far as this silver car. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna park within one and a half car lengths. So we're gonna put our vehicle in the space, which is now occupied by my vehicle. So stay tuned, two minutes, we're gonna have real life parking. Right, here we are inside the vehicle. We're now gonna be looking at our parallel park. So from the position that you saw me in earlier, I'm just gonna move out. Now what you wanna do is look to see if you can see the tires of the vehicle in front. If you can, put a full lock steering on. This would be enough to make sure that you can move out. Obviously, if you do have a Cadillac, make sure you back up a little bit more, tires and tarmac. Okay, now I'm gonna take my start position next to the van here, okay? So we're gonna be about a door length in between. This is the same standard as you would do on your driving test. Now, if you don't have room on the right side, because there might be parked vehicles, you need to get closer to the van or the vehicle that's on your left. I'm engaging reverse gear, standard reverse parking. Obviously have a good look round. Now the difference between parking in real life and parking on your test is the amount that you'll go back. So I'm just getting my rear tire past the rear tire of the van on my left or the vehicle that's on your left hand side. Make sure it's safe, apply full lock steering. Now this is the most important and difficult part of the manoeuvre. If you have a look here on my camera, the angle you'd want to take is when the little yellow line touches the kerb. Now obviously you might not have this technology in your vehicle. So people talk about a two o'clock angle, 45 degrees angle. Now if you're parking in real life, you actually want to take that a bit further. 50 degrees, more, two and a half o'clock. And at that point, apply a full lock steering to the right. Now that you've applied your full lock steering onto the right, check to see if it's safe and there's any vehicles around. Now usually you're coming a lot closer to the curb than this, and you may see the curb in a blind spot mirror if you've purchased one. Obviously you can purchase these from online, or you can go to a store that I usually get mine from, Wilco, shout out to Wilco. They're the only store that I've found that has the adjustable blind spot mirrors. Now, making sure it's safe and edging back and I'm perfectly parked next to the curb. I do have the sensors on this vehicle where I can see how close I am with the camera and the actual sensors. They're all orange, it's all perfect. Straighten the wheels up and Bob's your uncle, done. Thank you very much. If you have any more comments or if there was something I left out, please hit me up in the comments down below. Like, subscribe if this video was helpful. All right, check you out in the next video. Peace.